from the global resources of ABC News with Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and Bill Weir in New York City. This is Nightline, August 30th, 2011. And good evening, I'm Cynthia McFadden. We begin tonight with a health crisis in a billion dollar business, the adult film industry, where production shut down temporarily on Monday after it was revealed that an actor had tested positive for HIV. A similar shutdown in 2004 led to calls for condoms to be required in all porn productions. But the industry, including its actors, resisted such a move. And now it's happened again. Here's ABC's David Wright for our series, Modern Sex in America. It's a 10 to $15 billion industry, bigger than professional baseball, football, and basketball combined. And again, the adult entertainment industry is at a standstill because an unidentified performer has tested positive for the AIDS virus. Animals have more protection in the making of films than porn performers. How many cases do there have to be before we take it seriously? Performing in porn can mean taking your life in your hands. So when you had sex on camera, did you feel like you were playing Russian roulette? Absolutely. Yeah, you never know uh, how many people your partner that day has been with since they've gotten their test. Gina Rodriguez quit the porn business three years ago, in part because of the fear of disease. How important is this? It's very important. You know, I think it's a ticking time bomb. It really is. It's going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. Because this has happened before. In 2004, actor Darren James' HIV test came up positive. He later spoke with Lisa Ling for Nightline. And I get that call, everything stops. I had the virus, and my whole world just crashed. So you don't know how you got infected? I don't. Did you infect people? Three girls, and uh, I knew them. I felt bad. Since then, the industry adopted some safeguards, requiring all performers to get an yeah, HIV yeah. test once a month. California's Division of Occupational Safety and Health, the same group that requires construction workers to wear hard hats, also requires the adult film industry to protect workers from hazards associated with bloodborne pathogens. The regulations clearly state employers must provide and ensure employees use appropriate personal protective equipment, including condoms, dental dams, gloves, and eye protection. But those rules are rarely enforced. The industry itself has been rigorous about HIV testing, but not about condom use. That may be partly to do with aesthetics. The whole point of the porn industry is to see something raw and to see something really sexual. People should be using condoms in the real life, but when they see it on the screen, they don't really want to see that. And it seems to have everything to do with money. Steve Hirsch, CEO of Vivid Entertainment, one of the biggest producers, spoke with Nightline in 2009. The truth is that when people watch adult movies, they're watching it for the fantasy. They don't want to see condoms. Condoms in adult movies just don't sell as well. That's just a fact. They say they won't make as much money with condoms. But they would also like to use 16-year-old girls, and they're not permitted to do that. City and county government don't want to deal with this because it deals with sex, it deals with pornography. That's a really bad excuse for not protecting these young people. Of the major adult entertainment producers, only one studio requires condom use for all their contract stars, Wicked Pictures. Most of the companies frown upon it. If, you, if you're coming in saying, you know, I want to wear a condom, chances are they're going to take the girl that's going to do it without the condom. There have been any number of current actresses who say it doesn't bother them. Are they not telling the truth? I think they're not thinking about it. They're thinking about the money and getting work. It isn't just porn stars at risk. Many adult performers supplement their income by escorting on the side. If it's not too rude a question, how many people could you conceivably have sex with in a month? A girl could shoot, you know, 15, 20 times a month. That could be sometimes multiple partners in a scene. If she's escorting, you know, it could be 10, 15 added to that a month and then whatever her personal life is. 
This week, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation started collecting signatures for a local ballot initiative in Los Angeles. It'll make a condition of getting a film permit in the city of Los Angeles for an adult film that condoms must be used. Even if they do that, they're just going to go elsewhere to shoot. And what's to stop porn producers from filming in Malibu or just about any place else? Technically, the law. A making of pornographic films uh, is uh, considered prostitution in 48 states. So it's only allowed in California and New Hampshire. It gets kind of cold in New Hampshire in the winter. I don't think people would be that anxious to be taking their clothes off in New Hampshire in the winter. Harder. But many say what the proposed ballot measure could do is simply drive production underground. Already, the internet is packed with porn produced on the cheap with little or no safeguards. Meanwhile, the business just moves right along. Unless they come out and they make it mandatory that they have to wear condoms, it's going to get worse. Gina Rodriguez is thankful she made it out of the business with a clean bill of health. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles. Risky business.